Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Today's flavor is raspberry chocolate. And I added a little bit of ras chocolate raspberry uh, cappuccino powder to it. So it should be tasty. Today's high is only going to be 59, so we cooled off quite a bit from the last couple days. But it's still a pleasant day. It's sunny and cool. Very cool. So I have another doctor's appointment today, so I'll need to be going out. Um, this one is to get that hernia check that I developed while I was moving furniture. So we'll see what he has to say, if he can repair that or not. Would be good to get rid of that. So it's like one thing after another. Um, so I'm going to work a little bit at home though too. Straighten up some things and get rid of some things and just see what's what in a couple of my cupboards. So that's what I'm doing today. And it should be a pleasant day to go out. Not too hot, not too cold. So not much else going on. I have to get over my mom's one of these days. So I don't know if there's time left over. Maybe I'll go this afternoon. But I'm not sure about that. I have some kitchen things that I have to do. Get things straightened out. So that's a never-ending process, always things to do in the kitchen. And I have a lot of appliances out, and I have a lot of things on my counters, but they are things I use, and to me it's a bigger hassle to keep putting everything in the cupboard than it is to leave it out. So I just leave it out. I don't care. Um, you know, I'm basically the only one that hangs out in my kitchen for the most part. So if I want to have my appliances out and have them handy, then that's what I'm going to do. So a big cup of coffee this morning. And uh, I don't know, I have to think about if there's anything else that I need before election day. As there's already talk about a lot of shenanigans going on, and I know some of you don't want to hear about that, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. Some of the swing states are having some really weird things go on, like there's going to be a mock uh, cyber attack on November 5th in um, Atlanta. Now, who does that? Seriously, you gotta wonder, right? Well, anyway, I guess voting early is the best thing to do for now. So, cheers! That's good. I want another sip. Very hot. So, I don't know, the voting early isn't real convenient here, because I would have to go downtown, and I avoid that like the plague at all costs, because the traffic is always horrendous down there. And I just like to drive around in my comfort zone, so hopefully everything will be copacetic here in my little area so that uh, I can go vote. So anyway, um, that's going to be my day today. Just puts around here for a little bit and go do that doctor's appointment and see what he has to say. Getting kind of tired of all the doctor's appointments, that's for sure, but I want to make sure that there's nothing major going wrong. Because, you know, as you get older, you have to keep an eye on some of these things. So, okay, I will meet you over there at the 
budget book. Okay, here I am back at the budget book. Well, yesterday I stayed home, and I didn't spend any money, but I did pay my grandson to put my uh, kitchen cart together. So, but that goes under repairs. That doesn't go under discretionary spending. So I didn't go to the store. I didn't buy anything on Amazon. I, I just um, paid him uh, because he's trying to save up money for a dirt bike. So one hand washes the other. And uh, he's willing to do some work for me. And I'd rather have, have him have the money than uh, somebody outside of the family. I'm sure if I asked them, they would do it for nothing. But, you know, it's it's something grandmas and grandpas do, you know, if they can. They try and help out their, their uh, kids and grandkids. And in return, if they can get a little help, that's great. So that's what I did yesterday. And I paid him $15 an hour. I thought that was fair. I mean, he's... He's 15, so, um, and I asked him how much more money he needs, and he said $200, so uh, I can definitely keep him busy to earn $200. So anyway, um, I'm not planning to go to the store today. I don't think there's anything I need. I cooked uh, my meals, so... Um, that's good, and uh, I have produce in the backyard. I have some kale, and I have some lettuce growing back there that I can eat. So right now I can't think of anything food-wise that I need, and I'm still working on uh, getting some of the food cooked up that I have in my freezers. So, okay, that's it for my budget book chat for today, short and sweet, and I'll be back. <coughs> what are you doing, silly girl? Are you bored? Are you bored? What are you doing over there being silly? Okay, carry on. These are lights that I got at Costco. They're rechargeable. They're like sconces. Um, and you can charge them. And I actually got them for a power outage. So right now I'm charging them, but they make quite a bit of light. Especially if you have them both going. And I didn't just buy these. I bought these about a month ago, but I'm just now getting around to recharge to charging them up. So these will go on the wall in my dining room. And then you can take them off the wall and take them into whatever room you want. So, and they have three levels of light, which is nice. So, and I don't remember exactly how much they were. I think they were around $30. So, those are a good thing to have in my stash for emergency power outages. They're back. I'm going to miss this beautiful weather. Hopefully we'll have as nice a summer and fall as we've had this year, next year. Who knows what next year will bring. This was a commemorative gift from Diana by the Beach for our Moo Man, my daughter's King Corso, who passed away this year. And we miss him terribly. What a beautiful gift. Thank you again, Diana.
So these are almost done. Not many flowers left. Thank you for all the beauty you provided for us this summer. Today I organized some of these cubbies. Um, I've got some craft things in here. This is a glue gun. And it says coupons, but I don't have coupons. Glue gun and a wood burner, wood burning set, soldering iron, and uh, glue sticks. So that's a craft one. This is a craft one. No, this is a electronic one. Plus that, I have all these hooks and things in here. This is for my bug zapper. So a lot of these drawers, like these are all art supplies. I organize those. These are some art supplies too. Down here, you can use baby oil to clean your oil brushes. I don't know if you knew that or not. And then in these, I have my nail polishes. Yes, I have a lot of nail polish. This one too. And this one down here. What is that? Hmm. I forget. Oh yeah, the uh, more art supplies, paper plates for mixing colors. And then over here, I have some office supplies, Lizzie's pee pads, and some more office supplies down there. So I just kind of organized everything. And uh, then over there, I've shown you that before. I have notebooks that I use for recipes, and it just looks a little nicer covered up. So, and then this is a really nice planter. I have two of them. I have to go in the backyard and find the other one. That I just put some succulents in. I got those for free from my neighbor. She had them on her deck and doesn't want to take care of them uh, anymore. So I got those. And then I got these su uh, succulents from her too. I want to repot those in this orange pot, but for now they're living in this black pot. So, and this is my bar cart. And this guy is hiding a bottle of Fireball. So, okay, I've just been putzing around in my dining room, organizing a few more things. Okay, my use it up dinner is I've got some of this California medley from the freezer. It's just mixed vegetables, so I'm going to take some of those, just a handful. I've got peppers from the garden. I have the rice I cooked the other day, and I have some coleslaw mix. So I'm going to stir fry these, add the rice. And for protein, I'm going to add an egg and also some uh, cashew nuts. So that will be my dinner for tonight, a use it up dinner. And I'm sure it'll be delicious. I think I have some sort of sauce in my refrigerator that I can put with it. So um, I'll show you what I cooked up after it's all done. Alright, this is what it looks like. I'll add the rice to it as soon as these veggies are a little bit more tender. I'm frying it up in some uh, toasted sesame oil for flavor. Uh, and while I was at it, I used the same ingredients over here, and I'm making a soup out of those. Uh, just some different seasonings. and making it in the Dash mini rice cooker. And then I will take the rest of the cabbage and cook it up, and I'll make a cabbage and noodles as well. So this is enough for two meals. This will probably be enough for two meals. 
and then the cabbage and noodles the same. So six meals, and I still have half of a bag of the uh, California blend left, and I still have half a bag of the uh, frozen peppers. So lots of meal stretching, meals for one, and I think that looks delicious. So I'm getting a lot of meals out of half of a bag of California blend, a bag of shredded coleslaw mix, lots of meals for very little money. Okay, so here I have seven meals and it was under five dollars. Um, I have enough for two servings of soup. I added a little sesame oil to the soup just to give it a little extra flavor and I put the rice, some rice in here so um, that's two meals. Here I have two meals of cabbage and noodles very cheap and inexpensive. Here I have a stir-fry with rice and cashews so just a little handful of cashews doesn't cost that much mix veggies and to this I'll add an egg to each serving when I heat it up and then I made an extra serving of pasta which I'll have with two eggs for another dinner so very expen inexpensive meals and if you're struggling with groceries um, buy a bag of chopped coleslaw it's about a dollar eighty nine or a dollar ninety nine I'm not sure what the current price is. Get yourself a bag of white rice, a bag of elbow pasta, and a frozen bag of California vegetables, and um, a thing of peppers and onions, maybe from the Dollar Tree, and divide them up. And I still have half a bag of the California blend left, which is plenty for another meal or two. I froze half a cup of pre-cooked rice. That's enough for another meal. And, um, yeah, so you can stretch your meals, and these are all nutritious, well-balanced meals. And I won't have to cook now, make dinner for a week. So there we go. It can be done. Save money on food, and you'll have money for other things. And it only took about an hour to make all these foods. Well, my grandson is on the way. He's supposed to come over and put together my new kitchen cart, island, whatever you want to call it. So this is the old one. It's pieces, parts. It's like a Frankenstein one. And um, so we'll see what it looks like. Hopefully the cart will fit. And these two will be going for storage out in the garage. So we'll see. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the new one will fit in this area. Well, here's grandson Devin putting together my island. Doing a great job. Is it hard? No. No? He's very mechanical and very talented in putting things together and building things. So I'm excited. All right. Well, he's almost done with it. So we'll see how it fits. Right, Dev? Yep. All right. Well, here is the new kitchen cart, and it's much wider than the other one was. Um, so hopefully everything from that cart will fit in here. I think it will. Um, I think this will work out very well. Um, now I have a choice that I can make. This sort of blocks the oven door just a little bit, but it's easy to roll, much easier than the other two uh, that I had there before. So I can either leave it that way or... I can take this extension off 
which flips up but I think this would come in handy if I need more space to to work with so I'm going to leave it like this for now this goes up and down and um, so I think it'll work out just fine but it's just a little bit that it hangs over so not that big a deal and I've got a mess going here in my kitchen isn't that the way it always works when you're redoing something so the contents of this cart which has a lot of my measuring cups and things needs to go in the new cart and then this cart I'm going to put in the garage these fold up so it gets pretty large and I think my pizza oven will fit right on top of here and then this little cart my grandson has a, a little printer out there that I think would be perfect for this little cart so I am going to reuse these in the garage for storage because I need to clean up that garage so anyway that's what I'm going to be doing today is just sort of making order here and trying to make things uh, more cohesive and fit together and my assistants here are very lazy this is what I'd rather be doing but that gets boring after a while so we'll just carry on and they have their new outfits on that they got from the groomer and little Miss Lizzie is stuffing her face are you stuffing your face? Yeah, giving Chloe a kiss. That's nice. That's nice that you're giving Chloe a kiss. Yep. Oh, bless you. Bless you, little one. All right, well, I got to get ready and go to the doctor before I start on this project and I'll be back later. Right. Well I've been working on getting this put back together and over here and in the drawer I have spices, some frying pans, a couple different choppers, an immersion blender, my instant pot, and a couple of different blenders. So I got everything in here, everything's easy to get to. So I'm happy with that, but I still have more to clean up, so I'll keep plugging away at it, and maybe I'll continue tomorrow. I don't know. Okay, well, it's time for a cup of tea. I got both of the carts emptied and put into the new cart, but I'm calling that good for today. Um, so my... Uh, test for the gastric emptying came back normal so I guess it's working okay so um, I have to now go for an ultrasound no a cat scan not an ultrasound a cat scan um, so that this new doctor I've never been to him before so he can take a look at that hernia and uh, then I'll have to go back to him again and probably schedule some kind of surgery. Not looking forward to that. Um, especially right around now time. It's not the best timing, but um, maybe uh, I'll wait until the middle of November before I do anything about that. So I'm having that peach bellini mocktail tea. It is so good. Um, it's very flavorful. So cheers. I didn't work hard today, but I, now I'm tired. I did wake up early again, and uh, then I fell back asleep for, oh, and maybe an hour, which was nice. But 
I had to get going because I had this appointment. So tomorrow I have another appointment and then um, <laughs> it's a good thing they make calendars so we can write it all down. So anyway, I'll be glad when this round of medical testing and calendar and doctors and when, when that's all done and hopefully, fingers crossed, everything will be okay. But that still won't answer the question about why I have such terrible digestion. Well, we'll see. So, all right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. It helps my channel grow. Don't forget to share, and thanks for watching.